Hey folks, my name is Provis, and welcome to Glyphica, a new indie game created by one of the former lead designers for Stellaris. This is a survival roguelike, but your weapon of choice is the very keyboard of your own computer, because this is a game about typing and literally weaponizing your words per minute. If it sounds a little bit bizarre, I understand why you would think that, but having played this for a little while, this actually really works. It's surprisingly quite fun and challenging. Let me go ahead and start up a new game and I will show you. There are a number of different weapons we could choose from. I'm gonna stick with just the basic repeater and hop into a trial. All right, let's get started. This little dot in the center of the screen, that is you, except you cannot move or dodge. Instead, these little red dots that are heading towards you need to be shot. And you'll do that by typing out the word above them. As you do so, you'll gain some XP and you're going to level up like so. And this is where the roguelike aspect of the game comes in because you'll get some different randomized weapons, some of which are just gonna do a little bit of extra DPS or maybe drop a bombardment in a location. And then others, like the hunter, are going to uh, do something special if you can type in an IO or U in a word. So we're gonna go ahead and use that because I feel like having vowels means we're going to get to use this weapon quite a lot. In fact, on the far left of the screen, you can now see that little triangle going around and zapping things, and that is one of my hunters. Get a whole bunch of these things up, and you actually should be able to deal with quite a lot of enemies. Hopefully, you won't even have to type a ton of words. And that actually is kind of useful because, well, guess what? There's going to be a lot of enemies at some point. Periodically, you'll find some loot get dropped. You type out the word, and then you get access to one of three different things. These are like artifacts, uh, max shields, more electric damage, rate of fire. Eh, both pretty good, honestly, since I do have an electric thing. I'll just take the damage. That seems like an easy enough way to go. Now, for now, a lot of these um, enemies just have like four letters. Ooh, quantum overcharge, 30% rare upgrade? Ooh, but a specter, uh, mm, uh, both of these though. I like that extra 30% and I'm gonna take it, but man, I kind of wanted to have the extra specter for more vowels. Anyway, some of the words are going to be getting more complicated as time goes on. So it starts off very simple, right? But you can see we've already moved on to things like some five letter words and stuff like that. It does get a lot longer as time goes on. Also, you're gonna start getting some weird words, like the kind of things that maybe you don't normally type out. X's and stuff like that periodically will pop up. Um, I did see the loot over on the right. Let's grab that. 10% damage for all weapons is pretty good. All kinetic weapons, duration. I mean, extra bleeding, you know, rate of fire and duration stuff's nice, I suppose. But, um, yeah, I kind of think that maybe just going for the damage is probably the better way to go. That's going to be scaling pretty much for the rest of the game. And we'll just go ahead and keep shooting these targets as they get close to me. Now, you'll notice there's a timer. Ooh, that's a big enemy. You have to shoot him twice. Uh, hang on. Let me level up, and then we'll get back to some of that. Um, Tesla mine. Okay, so you can add the B, C, D, and E uh, letters. I think that's probably worth it. The more of these procs I get, the better. Anyway, so you see the timer in the very top there. Uh, that means that a boss is going to be on the way. And it's not exactly your normal boss in that it's just like a big enemy with lots of health. Though that does exist in this, I believe. But instead, what's going to happen is we have to basically type one long paragraph. Kind of like a dictation session. Which is a little bit weird, but you'd be surprised how difficult it is to do that while also dealing with all the enemies that are flying at you at the same time. You have to keep changing your attention. Uh, let's see. Now, Repeater, you'll notice we have something here called an Evolution. Now, as you kill things with certain weapons, you'll gain Evolution points, get enough, and you get to increase the effect of the weapon, like a special branching path. And that can be kind of nice for us with the Repeater. I mean, crit damage and stuff's nice, but yeah, let's just go ahead and do an Evolution. I'll show you how this works. So now we get to do a Ricochet, so we have Projectile Chain Attacks and hits lots of things, or we could do a Shotgun Spread and it does less damage, but you have more projectiles. Which could be good, but I think I like the ricochet. So we're just going to pick that sucker up, and pretty much whenever there are enemies close together, we'll do a little bit of extra damage bouncing around. And so far, this seems to be working out pretty well. I'm really not having too much problem. But I definitely want to level up as much as I can before the boss arrives in about two minutes. You'll also notice we have this, like, perfect... In well, I had a perfect input. I just made a little typo there. Um, basically, if it's, it's kind of like your kill streak. If you can type in a lot of letters without making a typing mistake, then you start building up some sort of a combo, and sometimes you can spend that combo with different artifacts or with uh, different weapons and stuff, which can be quite nice. So we want to do that. Level up again. Um, uncommon. A couple of uncommons. Ooh, I think the Tesla mine with the range is pretty good because I can hit more targets, um, but I do like the extra damage just from my main gun, and that can be very useful against big targets. So we're going to do that for the single target damage. But increasing the range of your Tesla is not a bad idea. Having lots of prax, uh, procs, sorry, procs covering the entire screen is not a bad plan. I'm sorry, it's a little bit difficult to talk right now, okay? I don't know if you've noticed, but like, trying to type and talk at the same time, not exactly easy. All right, you're, you're using the language center of your brain in two different cases. Yuan? Who freaking types out Yuan? I don't do that. Um, 
you try to you're trying to use two different parts of your brain at the same time and sorry the same part of your brain in two ways at the same time it's even worse than that and the result is uh you're worse at both so this is not exactly what i would call my highest words per minute and i'm also probably not making the absolute best commentary i've ever made in my life uh but that's kind of the challenge of being a youtuber there so let's level up here what do we get um I mean, the duration of the test of mine isn't bad because it'll last on the screen longer, and the more things last on the screen, the better. Let's get ourselves another artifact. Survival kit duration, I think, is pretty good. Better than a reroll. Do I care about regeneration? Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe. It could be kind of good. Um, I think I'll just take the damage instead. That's pretty much a guaranteed benefit for me, whereas I'm otherwise dependent on a lot of pickups. Okay. Getting some double damage procs here and there. That's the kind of thing that would have triggered with some healing, but I'm not even taking any damage right now. You can suffer a few hits before you are going to die. You can also find some shields. I just lost 200 streak. That sucks. You can also get some shields and stuff, and eventually some enemies are going to break through. Like, at some point, you're going to be distracted. You're going to get flustered. You're going to make some typos, and it's going to result in something getting into you, especially the big guys. In fact, some of these enemies eventually are going to start shooting at me. And you have to kill them before they take their shot. This guy right here, the deploy in the bottom left, is a very good example. We can type that out. We'll kill him before he has a chance at shooting me. But otherwise, yeah, you can't dodge. So don't mess up. Um, range of the Hunter. Duration for the test of the mine. I don't think I care about the evolution. Let's just go for duration. Again, the longer this stuff stays on the screen, the more value I get out of it. The more kind of like I've got coverage of the map. So I can focus my fire in different areas or deal with the boss who is going to be arriving in about 15 seconds. We're only level 8 right now. I'll be doing a lot better than that, but I mean, it's, yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Starting to get some 6 and 7 letter words and stuff, which is uh, a little scary. Um, but it's fine, you know? It's it's fine. You're about to see just how difficult this really can get. Honestly, the boss is tough. Uh, let's see what the guys who are currently on the screen. I need to type out equal. There we go. We are the hollow uh, men. We are the stuffed men leaning together headpiece filled with straw and now i'm gonna have to start dealing with the stuff that's on the map because there's getting a little bit uncomfortably close and some of these enemies require the same word to be typed out twice before they do the courtesy of dying oscillator i don't think i care about that um that could be okay i guess though blade trap Ooh, i like that though lots of letters i mean i saw a rare upgrade i did see it but the more letters i have that can proc things like that spinning blade right there the better that's more denial on the map you know what i mean all right. Uh, when we whisper together, are quiet and meaningless. Oh, gosh dang it, I gotta deal with this guy who's coming in. He's a little bit scarier. Kepi over on... Ah, I can't type out Kepi! All right, well, at least the spinning blade thing's gonna help quite a lot. Um, okay, good. Refts, refts, uh, yurt. Yeah, whatever. Let's just get the artifact. Uh, status effects. Uh, crit chance, rate of fire for all electric. That seems good. We've got several weapons that take advantage of electric stuff. All right, we got to type out this jerk twice. He's not dead. Now he is. There we go. Okay. Good. As soon as I see that I have a lot of stuff on the map, um, lots of blades, lots of Teslas, lots of hunters, that is my opportunity to go ahead and start continuing with the boss. And we're only 18% progress. You could focus on doing nothing but the boss, but, like, unless you're a really fast typer, uh, you're going to get overwhelmed pretty darn quick. Gosh dang, I can't type in gallery, apparently. Frick that. There we go. Got it. All right, let's evolve. Chain lightning. That wouldn't be bad. I mean, Electrified Bolt's Kinetic Damage. I don't know if that helps me. I think we're just going to go with the Chain Lightning. And we got another level up as well. Precision Guidance. Crit Chance is okay. We could do that. Um, it's strictly better than the other Repeater upgrade, so I don't see any reason why to take the worst one. And the Repeater also evolved. Well, that's hilarious. More Projectiles. Or we could do Shotgun Projectiles. I'll just go for the Projectiles. Seems fun. I don't want to do less damage per shot, you know? All right, grass or rat's feet over broken glass in... I can't deal with this. I gotta type things out. Funny thing is, though, um, as you type in letters for killing enemies, sometimes you'll just naturally make progress on the boss. So I suppose you could theoretically do nothing but just focus on killing targets getting close to you, and eventually maybe you'll deal with the boss, but, like, it's gonna be so slow. It just seems like a terrible terrible plan. Seller, shape without form, shade without color, paralyzed force, gesture without motion. Okay, we gotta deal with these other guys that are getting in. Vogue, plain, math, hovel. At some point, I just feel like I have to talk and uh, well, what I'm typing as I go. Um, like I said, very difficult to focus on both of these at the same time here. Okay, uh, what do we want here? I think just the extra duration on the hunters means they'll last longer, means they'll kill more things for me so I can focus on the boss. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. Evolution for a Tesla mine doesn't seem like a bad idea either. Heat damage and ignite chance, or we can make a trigger on more letters. Ooh. More frequent procs just feels like the better way to go. I'm sorry, it just does. 
All right, glass cannon. I hate that. That gets me 50% less health. Seems like a terrible plan. We do have hunter drones. 20% damage is good or 10% range on everything. The telescope. I think that increases the size of your Tesla coils as well as your blades, but I kind of like the idea of just going for the 20% more drones. We've got a lot of drones, okay? I get hunters all over the place. Crossed with direct eyes to death's other kingdom. Remember us, if at all, not as lost violent. Okay, I gotta get these guys. Um, okay, so the, the ones that you require you to type them twice is just unfair, by the way. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that at all. Uh, he's, he's, I, I gotta focus on other things here, man. I just gotta focus on other things. Whack! Whack again! There we go. Hacker. He's, he didn't die. Great. Um, but fortunately, the hunter should take care of the rest. Uh, let's go ahead and get this... Uh, the other guys on the left. Then I, wanna f I see the artifact on the right. Let's get used. There we go. Cryotechnics. Static effect chance. I mean, it feels like... I don't know what static does. Maybe it stuns them. But I have it on two of my different weapons. So I just... I guess I might as well go ahead and try to go for as many procs there as I can. All right, we've mostly got this under control. If I could just get a blade or something in the bottom right, I'd feel a lot better. Now they're coming in pretty hard from the right. Gosh dang it. We're almost halfway with the boss, all right? We're almost halfway with the boss, but we're not halfway with the boss, and somehow I gotta keep on top of this. That's a lot of blades. Okay, we're almost ready. We're almost ready. Can we get just a little bit more? Um, okay, now we can go for Spectre. A, E, and O. That means that every vowel should spawn something now, right? Between the Hunter and the Spectre. And since every letter, or sorry, every word in the English language has a vowel in it, that means I should always be getting more procs everything I type out, which can only be a good thing for me. Gosh dang it though, I'm still not getting enough procs to stick around on the map long enough. Alright, now I feel pretty good. As the hollow men, eyes I dare not meet in dreams, in death's dream kingdom, these do not appear. Getting kind of strum up on the right here, let's go ahead and proc some more stuff. Um, Nexus. I'm having trouble so typing that out for some reason. Uh, 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 the things are killing things as I'm typing them out, so I'm getting my targets mixed up. Um, okay, more blades on the left is good. Uh, a base. Um, um, what else can we do? Uh, I see the guy coming in the bot top left. Never uh, got killed by the blade. We're good. Zebra. Uh, arid. Oh gosh, this is getting a little bit hectic. I'm sorry. This is this is impossible. It's impossible. Sunlight on a broken column. There is a tree. Okay, guy in the top left. Rare. He's done. And voices are in the winds singing more distant and more... Okay, solemn sol sol than... Okay, we gotta deal with these guys now. They're getting too big. Too many guys. Double blade. That's not going anywhere for a while. I got two level ups. So I'm gonna have to spend these in a second, but I'm sorry. I'm a little bit busy. Um, we can go for 20% more damage on the blade trap. That seems like a pretty good idea. A nice uncommon upgrade. Love that. 30% range on the Tesla. That's a no-brainer. All right, now that thing is huge. Huge radius to do a lot of damage. That, by the way, was a long word. I just saw underpin over there. Let me be no nearer in Death's Dream. We just talk a lot about Death's Dream Kingdom. Whose Death Stream Kingdom is this supposed to be about? I don't even know. This is probably a quote from something famous. Is it Shakespearean or something? I have no idea. I know that there are Shakespeare quotes somewhere in here. We'll probably run into it if I can survive past this. We will see. Oh, God. Um, okay. We're pretty well covered here. Dream Kingdom. Let... Okay, that guy's coming in really fast. Zonk, there we go. Also, where... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Keep club and get these guys clear. Whenever I see that a corner of the map is not covered, I get scared. Deliberate disguises. Gosh dang it, they're coming in fast here. The guy's gonna shoot me. Kindness, kill him with kindness. 30% duration on the Spectre seems like a no-brainer. I like the damage too, but 30% duration is phenomenal. Uh, if I can just get something to spawn on the left, I'd be pretty happy right now. Um, yearned. Uh, castle. Um, good. Uh, relax. I'm getting really flubbergasted over here. I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting really flubbergasted. I think I just lost an artifact. Dang it, I didn't type that out fast enough. I got scared by other things. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's my fault. It's my fault. Crow, um, skin, crossed. I'm, I'm, mis I'm misspelling a lot here. Field, behaving as... Okay, hang on. Zigzag. Um, God. I am making terrible commentary! No, it's fine. It's fine. We're doing fine. Um, the fact that we're even alive right now... I, I didn't- I think I made a mistake. I did not realize this was going to be this tough. Like, I can beat this on my own. It's, it's a little bit damn and t difficult, but I can do this. Um, electric weapons, 20% seems pretty good. There we go. I can do this if I'm not trying to talk at the same time, so I thought I was practiced and well-prepared for this. I think I really underestimated how much harder it is to do this and type at the same time and talk. All right, final meeting. We're almost there. In the twilight. Come on, type it out. Kingdom and done. 
Good God. I have made a horrible mistake. Okay, now, after finishing off the boss, we finish stage one of the trial, and we can move on and get some boss loot. Crit damage always inflicts a status effect. There's only so many crits, but, you know, we can do that. New weapons automatically get an evolution level. We don't have any room for more weapons, so that seems useless. And then fracture during freeze. I mean, I don't like any of these, so we're gonna just skip and move on. All drone weapons, 50% damage. I think that affects my hunters, so 50% seems pretty good. Um... Stacked damage. Now I'm just going to go for the drones. Why overthink it? It's fine. All right. Trial one of three is done. Now we are going to be moving on into the next trial. See, I'm surprised I even had 93% accuracy, if I'm honest. I felt like it was more like 80%. But here we go. Now, the good news is you pick up where you left off with a lot of different upgrades and stuff like that already in place. So we can boost up our blade traps and such. We already have all of our weapons, all of our upgrades. And it does kind of reset in terms of difficulty, at least for the initial part of things. All right. So, we're just going to keep enjoying a lot of different upgrades. This is my chance to kind of scale before things start getting hectic again. Chain Lightning 2. Yes, absolutely seems like the right way to go. All right, this point, I'm just going to go ahead and start jumping forward a little bit. Um, you've already kind of seen how this works. It's all four to five letter words again, but we're stronger than we were before. So, until the boss actually arrives, I don't anticipate that there's going to be that much of a challenge. Blade Trap evolves. Ooh, we can get two more letters to spawn it. Yep, the more procs we have, the better. Like, you gotta admit, this is kind of an unusual game, right? Like, this is like Mavis Beacon teaches typing from hell. But, like, I don't know. I think it's actually really quite good. Like, this is a skill that everyone who uses a computer should have to some degree or another, right? You know, we all know how to type on a computer. You're using a computer right now. You understand how this works. But you actually get to be challenged and pushed to work as fast as you possibly can with your typing skills. So anyone could pick this up. Some people are going to be better at it than others, for sure. But, like, it's a skill that is learned and practiced and actually is beneficial in life. Like, you should be learning how to be a fast typer anyway, right? So anyone should be able to pick this up. I don't know. It's engaging. It almost feels like an educational game. Not exactly, but almost. While also being gamey and arcadey enough with enough variation between the weapons and the upgrades and stuff that I personally find this surprisingly freaking fun. Another upgrade for my repeater, Frost Fang. Ricochet chance of freezing things. That seems pretty good. We are having absolutely zero trouble with this level so far, by the way. I am way overpowered for this part of the game, but don't get complacent. The boss arrives in about 10 seconds. And unless there's some randomization of the bosses, I have some idea what this guy is going to be like and what he's going to do. And he's a little bit weird and kind of difficult to deal with. This is more of a classic actual boss. There he is! Oh god, it's Chaos Incarnate! Yeah, um, it doesn't have, like, actual real words. They're all, like, weird mixes of letters. So you previously could rely to some degree on some muscle memory when just kind of typing out recognizable words. Now you have to be kind of a little bit crazier. But the worst thing about him is um, while well, you have to hit him, like, a lot to kill him, if other words get within his range, like that one on the far left, I just killed it before you could get to it. My little buddies did that. But if he gets in range of other words, they also become a weird scramble of letters. So if you don't deal with him quickly, he becomes a huge problem. Uh, another 10% damage. There, by the way, on the far right, you know, the perfect inputs, like that could be the more perfect input you have, the faster you fire kind of a thing. Like, that's an incentive right there to actually get a lot of perfect inputs and have a combo streak going for you, but I am not that good. Not right now. Ooh, 30% duration on the Teslas. Yes. All right, he just did some damage to me. I, uh, did he? Actually, I don't even know if he did. I don't think he actually hit my shields. I think he only can screw you over by making other words become scrambles. Well, that's fine. I'll just keep shooting him. He's only got a few more shots in him. If I can just get a few more off on him, he's going to be gone. Just a little more. My buddies are shooting him down. Thank you, hunters. Trial complete. That is the second boss dead. All right. Uh, Necrobomb. When exiting the loot screen, get 10%. No, on shield destroy, get double damage. I don't feel like... I don't, know, I don't feel like any of these are really that good for me. I mean, I can't really benefit from the explosive crits because I have no explosives. Otherwise, that might have been pretty good. But now nah, we're just going to do a reroll here. Enlightenment, Ascetic again, um, and Jester. Destroying an enemy on crit damage, get five kills to a weapon evolution. I guess that's okay. I don't get very many crits, but I guess it just helps you evolve a little faster. Let's move on to the third and final trial. Um, I think that this final boss is also going to be a long uh, paragraph that you have to type out. More dictation, basically. But just like before, you know, we have a bunch of really easy words, very slow words coming in, which means that this next section is just going to be an absolute breeze for the next three minutes. A well-earned breather, I think. Yeah? I think so. Ooh, double upgrades. Um, more burn or restricted area. 
I kind of like that because there's a very strong chance of getting whatever that static effect is. And then Sawtooth Blades can get bleeding or Poison Coating can do chemical damage and has a chance of blight. Ooh, those are both pretty good. Uh, let's see. We can take a look at our Blade Trap here and see what kind of a crit chance and stuff we have. Only 1%. Yeah, so Sawtooth doesn't do a lot. That's crit chance to infect bleeding. That's only 1%. That's pretty much nothing. Better to go for the 10% blank chance, I think. Absolutely. You know what I like about this game? It feels like it's genuinely creative. You know? There are a lot of survival roguelikes out there. Horde survival style games, vampire survivor clones, blah, blah. There's a whole bunch of those kinds of games out there these days. It feels like there's nothing new under the sun. But every once in a while, you get a game, and like, is, is this going to be like one of those, you know, titles that becomes this huge viral sensation? Probably not. But for those people who play it, I think they're going to be happy, right? Like, this, this just feels like a genuinely innovative approach to a formula that we are used to. But it's pretty straightforward and simple. It's easy to understand and to jump into. Difficult to master, challenging still. I don't know. It just kind of checks off like all the boxes for me for a good indie game. I mean, not exactly like the grand strategy title you might have expected for a former lead designer from Stellaris, but a good project nonetheless. The absolute hubris on my end though, for thinking that I would be able to record this and type at the same time is absolutely insane. <laughs> It really is. Uh, what do we want here? Drone weapon speed, I think, probably would be good for us. Yeah. Um, I, the, the difference... Uh, I can just do that again with more thrusters. Yeah, I think that's probably the right way to go. The difference from when I'm just typing and I'm not talking to you guys is night and day. This is a shame you guys can't actually see it. You know, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to do jump cuts in order to make the video go by a little bit faster. Because if I'm not talking, then like, am I actually adding value? I don't know. I promise my words permitted isn't that bad. That's all I'm trying to say, okay? Don't judge me too harshly. Don't do it. Oh, good, it is Shakespeare. What do you know? Okay, hang on. Let's just go ahead and clear a lot of this crap off of the map first because they scare me. To be or not to be? That is the question. Whether... Uh, I'm typoing a lot here. Okay, hang on. Let's see what these guys... Every time I start getting rattled in typo, I think that's my chance to just go ahead and clear out the map and then I can pick up again nice and fresh, right? That's the way to go. Tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to... Okay, I can't... I gotta deal with these guys. They're getting too close. Ah, it's too many! There's, okay, this this is absolutely the hardest it's been so far. We're getting a lot of targets that have multiple shots of health worth to them. And they're moving... Some of them are moving pretty fast and require multiple attempts to actually uh, type out their word. Freaking heck. All right, to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing and them to die, to sleep. Gosh dang it, these guys are getting too close. I'm gonna get hit. No, nope, wait, ah, we're okay, we're okay. Okay, I, now I feel like I'm absolutely gonna get hit. I, I'm not spawning anything. Why am I not spawning anything? No, ow, okay, there goes one of my shields. It's fine. What the heck, I actually don't even feel like I can talk and do this at the same time. It actually is getting really tough all of a sudden. This is a lot. This is a lot being thrown at me very, very quickly, and I'm, I'm, I'm barely keeping up. Holy cram. No, 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 no! Ah, oh, there goes my other shield. Okay, I think we're mostly in a good spot. I see an artifact. We'll pick that up. Uh, crit chance 2% for everybody seems pretty good, or we could just go for... Uh, I'm just gonna go for the turret weapons, getting 20% damage. Okay, and by a sleep to say we end the heartache. This guy's getting too close. Shoot him. Thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep per chance to dream. Ugh. Oh god, oh god, I've got nothing on the map left. I, I waited too long, I waited too- Ow! Okay, down to half health. That's not good. If we take another hit like that, we are going to lose. That, however, is a lot of protecting blades! Yes! Oh, there's even some health over there. Okay, that actually helps a little bit. So now we're back at 250. I can take two hits again still from most enemies, I think. All right, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come... Ah! Okay, when we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause. Come on, just clear this out. We've almost got it. Just a little bit more here. There's the respect that makes calamity. Come on, we've almost got this. I just need to buy myself a little bit of space. Um, looking pretty bad on the right. We'll get there. Oh gosh, you're at 99%. What am I doing? Just type it out. There we go. Okay. 
I didn't even look at that. I didn't even look at that to see if we were like at the end. I should have just typed out long life and been done with it. All right, whatever. 91%, 125 mistakes overall. Words per minute, 143. It's not as high as it really should be, but you know, I feel okay about that. We, we did pretty good. I can't believe we even made it. Through my hubris, we actually did survive that. Now, there are a bunch of different augmentations that supposedly will get unlocked in the new um, roguelike versions of the game. And you can see that there are these other different types of weapons. We've got the Hirai unlocked, but not much else at the moment. Still, this kind of goes to show that there is a lot of replayability in a game like this. I don't know, guys. I think Glyphica is a pretty fun idea for a little game. Genuinely creative, really easy to understand, difficult to master, just perfect for me. If you guys would like to learn more about the game, you'll find a link in the description down below. Otherwise, if you did enjoy this video, I'd ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys next time.